Shh. I'm gonna share a little secret with you on today's episode that you should not tell your friends. You should probably not even tell your wife and you should definitely not. Whatever you do, absolutely do not tell your golf buddies. It's the Vero X1 from Encore Golf and this ball is, how do I describe it? Mwah. Magnifique. It's almost perfection. I love this ball so much and I'm gonna show you all about it on today's episode of Let's Play Through. All right, well, we just made it out to the course to check out the Vero X1. I actually played around, I snuck around in over the weekend. And let me tell you, these things are absolutely amazing. I was so impressed. But regardless, I'm gonna take you through the full test right now. We're gonna take a look at these balls and see how they perform. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure my go-to ball, which is the Vice Pro Plus. I've been playing this ball for about three years. We're gonna measure that up against the Vero X1. We're gonna take a number of shots, drives, iron shots, putts, chips, everything. And we're gonna see how these two balls perform. Now, I'm not a robot, obviously, but it should average out over the course of a round to see which ball performs better. Let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna test out the big stick here and see if the Encore does have a little extra distance over the Vice Pro Plus. I was always really a fan of the distance that I got from this ball, but I think the Encore is actually better, but let's put it to the test. We're gonna hit four balls here. We're gonna go Encore, Vice, Encore, Vice, Encore, Vice. That way, over the course of those eight swings, we should have a decent average to go off of, and we'll see which one performs best. Let's do it. Uh, similar swing, actually. That was hit pretty well. Oh, that was hit good, too. A little fade to it, but definitely a little higher trajectory, I'd say, with the Encore. It's more penetrating. Oh, that was the best one right there for the Vice. Oh, that's the best one there of the Encore. That's a good one. All right, this drive 234. That looks like a vice. All right, we're coming up here a little bit further. We're here at 254. And what do we have? That's an encore. Hey, if this is your first or second or maybe third time checking out the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We are bringing golf reviews like this each and every week on the channel, and we'd love to have you here with us. This is the encore right here. Over here, Encore. Over there, we've got a vice. And up here, closest, probably by a good 20 yards, by the way. That's the Encore. That thing had the vice beat by probably about 20 yards, and I'd say they were hit very similarly. Now, I caught the hill. There's a hill here, which you probably can't see. But definitely, it's further. I've tested these balls on a few rounds of golf and I can confidently say the Encore is about three to five yards longer than the Vice Pro Plus, at least with the drive, and even a couple yards further with my irons as well. So that is significant. Here we had a couple of shots that were decent but not great. Here's an Encore here on the right side of the fairway. We've got another, uh, another Encore on the right side of the fairway. And the Vice, I think, ended up further right somewhere over here yep here it is and these swings believe it or not were very similar i would just say the trajectory of the encore sort of i don't want to say course corrected but it definitely didn't have the same dispersion as the vice pro plus which already is a great ball in terms of dispersion as far as i'm concerned but the encore honestly seems to have it beat all right, now we made it to a par three hole here on the course. It's about a 135 shot. It's kind of a short par three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit three shots with the Encore, three shots with the Vice Pro Plus. We've got a camera there at the back of the green to see how these balls end up. And we'll see which one performs. You'll be able to see if it gets a little spin or if it checks up a little bit. I'll be hitting a nine iron. That's my 135 club. And this will give you a good feel for what this is gonna do with a short iron in your hand. 
first shot's a pretty good one. Just came up a little bit short. Hit that thin. But man, it went. <laughs> uh, pulled it a little bit, but it's a decent shot. Caught a little piece of the green there. Oh, it felt good. Wow, it's high too. Just on the right side of the green. A little short there, the vice. That was a very good strike. In fact, it's right at the pin. Woo! All right, off the green, about two, three yards short, because again, these weren't maybe weren't great shots. I've got one encore here, one encore here in the rough, another encore here. So talk about consistency. That's consistent for distance. I've got a really poorly struck ball here, which looks like a vice, short of the green. But look at this thing, right up by the green. I mean, that's like a five footer. That's the encore. <laughs> Can't wait to review the footage and see what happened in the back there because that was a hell of a shot. All right, now we're gonna test chipping and I'm gonna go one encore, one vice, one encore, one vice. So I'm gonna use my 58 degree wedge here. And we're just gonna see how this does in terms of rollout, how it checks up, how it feels on these little short pitch shots. Here we go. See, that was an encore first. Now we're going vice. Hit both of those a little too hard. About the same amount of rollout, I'd say. Very similar. So I hit a number of different shots there. I showed you kind of a little bit more power with a little bit more spin, some that had a little bit more roll, but let's survey and see what happened there. All right, so all in all, I'd say very, very similar performance here under these balls. I've got the closest ball, all actually seem to be encores, <laughs> but I don't know if that's because they performed any better or if it's just the way I hit each one of those. But I'd say in general, they both performed really well. And I'd say this, if you already play a Vice Pro Plus, the Encore is very, very similar. And so there's no learning curve there and you're not gonna have any unexpected shots. They're gonna perform very similar around the green. So far, so good. All right, now we're gonna take the 54 degree and we're gonna take a few longer chips and see how they perform. First, I'm gonna go Encore first. Checked up nice, actually. Bad one. Encore next. Pull down a little bit there. One last encore. Oh, that could be you. Close. And last place. These last two are real good. 
So as you can see, again, perform very similarly. Now let's take it for some putts. How much break in this one? <laughs> Almost the exact same putt there. There's a little break. Ooh, should have had that. There we go. Yeah. All right. Device. All right, now it's the most important test of all, the lip out test. How well does this ball lip out? Does it lip out or does it lip in? <laughs> Ooh, that one kind of lipped in. Ooh, that lipped in. That one lipped out. <laughs> so pretty good for the lip out test. So now it's time for me to rate the ball on a scale of one to five. And I don't hand this out lightly, but the Vero X1 gets my five out of five stars. This might be the perfect golf ball. At least it's the perfect golf ball for me in my game. It's got the distance. It's got the course correction. It's got the feel around the greens. It's everything I could want and a little bit more. In fact, it's got two or three more yards than I had before. I really love this ball. This ball might just have found its way into my bag.